The early 1980s TV series Police Squad was a unique kind of cop show known for its humor. It starred Leslie Nielsen as Detective Frank Drebin, who dealt with odd and funny crimes. The show was special because of its surprising plots, great comedic timing, and memorable roles. Watching this series might make you think about which role or scene you remember the most. You could also start thinking about the first time you saw the show. These thoughts often bring back favorite moments for fans. But enjoying the show is more than just watching it. We often connect personal stories or fond memories to our favorite TV series. Maybe you have a favorite episode that you watched with friends or a line from the show that turned into a personal joke. We would love to hear about your favorite memory or experience related to the show. Share your stories in the comments below and let's enjoy remembering the funny and surprising moments together. Police Squad is a special show in the world of TV comedies. Whether you're rewatching or discovering it for the first time, get ready for a lot of laughs and some nostalgia. The television series Police Squad, led by Leslie Nielsen as Detective Frank Drebin, is a prime example of sight gag comedy. The series, known for its unique style of humor similar to that seen in Airplane, was highly appreciated by those who enjoy the Zucker Brothers' comedic approach. Despite its innovative humor, the show faced challenges in maintaining a substantial audience, leading to its premature cancellation. Viewers who have had the opportunity to rediscover the series on home video formats or through television reruns often find it to be an exceptional comedy experience. Its humor, characterized by deadpan and poker face delivery, stands out in the television comedy genre. The show's reliance on visual gags was seen as both a strength and a limitation as it required the audience's full attention, unlike typical television content which often serves as background entertainment. The brevity of the series, with only six episodes, surprised many viewers considering its high comedic quality. The show's style and humor were so distinctive that it eventually led to the creation of the Naked Gun movies, suggesting that a more focused audience in a movie setting was better suited to appreciate its humor. Leslie Nielsen's performance is frequently highlighted as a key element of the show's success. His ability to deliver jokes in a completely serious manner added a layer of sophistication to the comedy, making the series not just a collection of jokes, but a cleverly crafted comedic endeavor. Overall, Police Squad is remembered as a brilliant yet short-lived piece of television comedy. Its unique style, marked by visual humor and deadpan delivery, left a lasting impression on its viewers and influenced subsequent comedy productions. In the final episode titled Testimony of Evil, viewers were to witness a cameo from John Belushi, portraying a character underwater with cement shoes. However, his untimely death necessitated a change. William Conrad stepped in to film a new sequence for this episode, ensuring the show could proceed without disrespecting Belushi's memory. A unique aspect of the series was its dual title presentation. In each episode, the voiceover narration and on-screen title diverged, creating an amusing disconnect for the audience. This became a hallmark of the show's humor, adding another layer to its comedic approach. The series also incorporated a running gag related to the apprehension of criminals. Starting from the second episode, Detective Frank Drebin would list criminals caught in all previous episodes. However, due to the airing sequence of the episodes being out of order, this joke lost some of its intended effect. The original production order was 1, 2, 5, 4, 3, and 6, but the airing order differed, leading to references to criminals who had not yet been introduced. Notably, this recurring joke was omitted in the first and third episodes. These elements of police squat contribute to its distinct humor and storytelling approach. The show's blend of unexpected cameos, mismatched titles, and disrupted chronological storytelling are parts of what made it a memorable experience in television comedy. The show was known for its bold humor. For instance, in a planned change for the second season's opening credits, they wanted to show Mohanda's K. Gandhi with a machine gun. This idea later inspired a fake trailer in the movie UHF, showing how the show's humor influenced others. The series also paid tribute to older TV shows, especially M-Squad. Its opening credits, theme song, and Leslie Nielsen's character were a nod to this old series, which starred Lee Marvin as Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. This show was the show's knack for making fun of other media and its creator's deep knowledge of TV history. Leslie Nielsen's role as Frank Drebin didn't end with the series. He reprised his character in Red Rock Draft Cider ads in the 1990s, 
which were also parodies of the series. This shows how popular and memorable his character was and how Nielsen remained closely linked to this role for a long time. Even long after it first aired, the series' style of humor and influence was still noticeable, proving its important role in TV comedy. The show was known for a funny twist with the main character, Detective Frank Drebin. His job title was always mixed up, which made for a good joke. He would say he was one rank, and then someone would call him something else. This kind of humor was a big part of what made the show special, thanks to its creators David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker. At first, they thought about casting Robert Stack for Drebin, but he said no. So, they went with Leslie Nielsen, and this turned out to be a great choice. Nielsen was really good at being serious in silly situations, which made the show very funny. A memorable moment for the show happened in 1994 when Nielsen was on a British show called Noel's House Party. They did a fake freeze frame like the ones at the end of the show's episodes. This show would how much people remembered and enjoyed the show. These parts of the show, from the mixed up job titles to Nielsen's acting and how it was remembered, show how important the show was in the world of TV comedy. It had a big effect on viewers and the comedy genre. In the comedic television series starring Leslie Nielsen, a recurring gag involves Detective Frank Drebin offering cigarettes to various characters. Each time he asks cigarette, the recipient humorously acknowledges the obvious, saying something akin to yes, I know, or yes, they are, instead of accepting or declining the offer. This repeated joke exemplifies the show's unique humor that plays on expectations and wordplay. Another notable aspect of the series is a visual gag linked to the episode number. In the first four episodes, Drebin accidentally runs over a number of objects that correspond to the episode's number. This specific joke, aligning the chaos caused by Drebin with the progression of the series, did not continue in the last two episodes, illustrating the creators' willingness to keep their humor unpredictable. A significant decision made by the creators, David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker, was to resist the network's push for a laugh track. Their firm stance on this matter ensured that the humor remained unfiltered and true to their vision, relying solely on the comedic content rather than added audience reactions. This choice played a crucial role in shaping the series' distinctive comedic atmosphere, setting it apart from other contemporary shows. These elements, from the cigarette gag to the unique handling of episode-specific jokes and the absence of a laugh track, contribute to the series' legacy as a pioneer in television comedy. Its blend of verbal wit and visual humor, along with a commitment to a distinct comedic vision, solidifies its place as a groundbreaking and memorable show in the history of television humor.